Step aside, waterfall, move over, extreme programming. There is now a software development process that is popular as it is effective. Yes, Avalanche development process will be sure to bring your project to a conclusion quickly and effectively. In the initiation phase of a project, your role as project manager is to secure the largest budget possible. Executive management will however be aiming to reduce your budget to the maximum extent possible. In fact, if senior executives had their way, you would probably be lucky to get some 4x2s to make your own abacus. It is therefore necessary to be creative in your justifications for the huge budgets you will require. First you must exaggerate, almost beyond credibility, the benefits to the business of your project. One way to establish the benefits to the business is to perform a Return on Investment Analysis, or ROI. Some project managers spend a significant effort doing research and analysis for an ROI. The Avalanche process has streamlined this approach by skipping the analysis and going directly to the conclusion. You can safely add your unsupported ROI conclusions in the form of an executive summary to random pages from previous projects. No executive ever reads the detail of an ROI primarily because they already know you're a lying weasel. The senior management will then approve your project expecting an open-ended functionality with half of the budget and half the projected schedule. They do this knowing you have already accounted for this when you wrote the proposal. Requirements gathering phase. If asked to specify the requirements for a computer system, most people are totally incapable of providing complete consistent description of what they need. This provides an excellent opportunity to set up the users to take the blame for project failure. Ask your users to specifically express all the functionality required. Ensure that these requirements are documented in detail and are signed by the users. In the inevitable case that the resulting software does not meet expectations, it will be possible to blame users for failing to identify all the requirements and then demanding to change the software. Avalanche process has a very simple and effective method of estimating tasks in the project plan. First you need to break the project up into what may superficially look like logical tasks. Make each task about the same length with some random variation to make it appear that some analysis has been performed. Now increase or decrease the time of tasks until the estimations meet the predetermined deadline provided by senior management. It is critical that you do not involve developers when estimating the tasks within the project plan. Developers will try to use previous experience to actually determine how long a task may take. They may even try to add more tasks. They will probably try to pad their estimates by adding time for unit tests, doing code reviews and designing. These are all distractions from performing the primary task of writing code. So you should ensure that this padding is removed. You may wish to take the easy way out and simply halve the estimates. Nothing aids the credibility of an impossible deadline like a pretty graph detailing all the tasks in the project showing exactly how long each will take and when it will be completed. Not only are Gantt charts useful providing the impression of being a professional project manager to senior management, but they also provide a way of shifting the blame to developers and the developers inevitably deviate from your project plan. Of course, if you let the developers actually see the project plan, the game will be up. So Avalanche Process promotes the use of tools like Microsoft Project. It is very improbable that company's budget will extend to providing project to all developers. Developers will therefore be unable to open the project plan. For further protection, insist on keeping the project plan on your own computer. It is important to understand that there is no better form of employee motivation than a fixed yet impossible deadline. Set your expectations of an 18 hour work day early by clearly expressing to the entire company that they are depending on you for the success of the project. You can explain the development process as a hybrid between the waterfall and extreme programming methods. Development will be told what tasks to perform in two week blocks based on the project plan. Call the two week blocks iterations or sprints to make the developers feel they are on a cutting edge team doing scrum. Make sure you emphasize the quality is your highest priority. After the schedule and the budget, but before their personal health. Developers are geeks. It is fortunate as they are able to use computers that would otherwise be donated to the local school. 
modern computers with large screens can be reserved for senior management, accountants and project managers. Developers are much better off being challenged by their computing environment. Occasionally a developer may make a request for some new hardware or software that will dramatically improve their development efficiency. This is always a ploy to improve their status among other developers. If one programmer can make do with a 14 inch green screen and 5 inch floppy drive, so can all of them. Remember that every dollar spent on new equipment is a dollar less than the budget for those IT conferences in Hawaii. There are other ways to rein in the budget as well. For example, you can implement pair programming. This means you can fit twice as many programmers into the same space while providing only one computer between two developers. This approach also has the advantage of preventing developers from surfing the internet on work time. Finally, you can save money on premises, air conditioning and lighting. Developers thrive in hot, damp, smelly, ill-lit basements. Perhaps because it reminds them of their bedrooms where they spent 95% of their childhood. You might consider buying a coffee machine as caffeine will allow your developers to work longer and sleep less. The testing phase is the imaginary time between finally getting the rotting disaster of an application to compile and dumping it onto the users, or more correctly termed, alpha testers. A responsible project manager will add testing time of two or three weeks to the end of the project plan. This is to show due diligence. Of course, since the schedule was slashed and the developers have been living on coffee for 18 hours a day, you are bound to be well past the deadline before you have any software to ship. You have had your developers give you daily updates and berated them for failing to hit the deadline. In the meantime, you have been setting expectations with senior management, informing them of the failure of developers to meet the schedule and the unreasonable demands of users who are asking for new features they forgot in the requirements. You are the victim. By the time you have finished describing all these failures to senior management, they will be so depressed they will be happy for you to ship anything at all. The exit phase of a project is the most important phase. If not handled correctly, the project's failure may reflect poorly on your project management capabilities. Despite the grossly unrealistic expectations of senior management, you cannot openly blame them for the failure, as this may encourage senior management to think about who set up their expectations. That is not a beneficial line of inquiry for anyone. Remember that only 50% of all software makes version 1. So the fastest way to assure success is to ship. Avalanche process borrows from extreme programming the concept that you should release early. Shipping early means you secure your project's place in the top 50% of projects, even if it has more holes than Swiss cheese. Where Avalanche process deviates from extreme programming is in the release often practice. Nothing good can come from the sticking around after your software is shipped. Your team will of course be swamped by an avalanche of defect reports, the fundamental reason for the naming of this software process. It is therefore important that you move to a more challenging project that will be able to benefit from your track record of project success. If you follow this process, you will be able to deliver your projects quickly and effectively and maintain your reputation for being a successful project manager. It will also give you the opportunity of a regular pay increase compared to the unfortunate souls who will be left to deal with the wreckage of your projects.